Hey guys, it's Colin from Hollywood Studios here. Something probably sounds a little off, and that's because we're here super early. It is 8.40 in the morning. We are here for the Medusa commercial shoot. That's why we're all wearing either Six Flags or generic branded shirts. We actually do not have Filthy NJ obviously here today. Oh, He's gonna be coming later, but we have Tom and Ryan. Yeah. Nothing like a completely empty great adventure. So cool, especially with no music. It's really nice and peaceful, honestly. There's another, looks like this might be new actually, this ad for the Summer Vibes Festival. I know I've been talking it up a lot. I'm very excited for it, see what the park does for it. Supposedly that giant ball over by Joker I mentioned in my last vlog will actually be a big beach ball, so that should be cool. And here we are at Medusa. Time to ride this a whole bunch of times so they can get some great shots of us for the commercials. If you're gonna be looking for us in the commercials, I'm wearing this bright orange shirt. Ryan's got his Medusa shirt on, and Tom has his salmon salmon, salmon shirt Let's on. Go. just wrapped up the medusa media shoot i wound up with 16 rides i rode every cycle like i said look for me in my bright orange shirt as well as tom with his salmon shirt and ryan with his i guess new og medusa shirt this is new. these are this is new this is now being sold at the park so check it out if you're interested but yeah thank you to great adventure everyone here for letting us come to the promo shoot is a lot of fun and now we're gonna continue the rest of the day all right so we got gate scan now we're gonna spend some more time at the park uh, not sure what rides I'm going to go on, honestly. 16 rides on Medusa is no joke. So definitely got to take it easy a little bit. Um, but yeah, like I said, Medusa shoot was awesome. And we'll see you guys wherever we're going. They really have done such a great job with landscaping in this park. There's new plants everywhere here. It looks great. Not going to ride Jersey Devil quite yet, but I did come over here to see just how fast it's running. It's kind of a game I like to play to see how fast Jersey Devil's running on a day-to-day -day basis. And... Oh, it's going pretty good. It's running fast. As I've said numerous times, if you rode Jersey Devil last year and was not impressed with it, come ride it again this year because it's wild this year. Very, very good ride. Doesn't look like anything's different over here at Barnstormer quite yet, but then again, we were literally just here, so I wouldn't really expect that. Oh, no. Good secret here. There is actually Dole Whip being served at Oasis Snacks over here behind Little Devil and by Skull Mountain's exit. It's not open right now, but when it is open, you can get yourself some Dole Whip soft serve. Something else I've noticed, I could be wrong here, but this does look new. Over here on Wild Things, which is the gift shop right outside of Skull Mountain's exit, and as right next to Oasis Snack, there's some new artwork over here. Honestly, it looks really cool. I mean, then again, I don't come over here that much, so it may not be new, but that looks really nice. Over here next to Jolly Roger, I actually forgot to spotlight this in my last video since we didn't walk over this way, but they have a really, really nice new fountain set up over here. This is so cool. This actually used to be the bumper boats that you'd pay for and you'd you know, drive them around, but now there's this, and honestly, this looks great. It's a great use of the area. I love this fountain. It's very creative, very cool. And back there, there's a clock showing exactly which seconds what time it is. So that's definitely very helpful. Um, I don't even know where, they, this is probably brand new because I don't remember seeing anything like this anywhere. So really, really cool touch by the park here. Also over here, it looks like they may have some new plants over here in this little rock area with the water. They, like I said, they've really done a phenomenal job at the landscaping this year, and it just looks spectacular, truly. Very happy to see that the landscaping has gotten so great at Great Adventure. This 
talk about the last slot that is right here in front of the Joker. Wow, uh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, looks like some people are getting some good rides over here. But, uh, we were told this is actually going to become a beach ball, and you can see the first plate that has been laid down purple, so I imagine this to be a very colorful looking beach ball. It's going to be really cool looking, honestly. Great for summer vibes, going to add a lot of atmosphere to this area of the park. Looks like they're actively working on laying another piece down. There's a yellow piece inside of that cart there. So I'm sure throughout the day, there's gonna be even more added to this beach ball. Here's just some confirmation that this is in fact for the Summer Vibes Festival. Very, very excited to see what they do with the park for the Summer Vibes Festival. Up above, you can see the vine covered walkway. This is something that's at other parks like Kings Dominion and Carowinds. And I've wanted to see this come to this park for a while, and I'm very happy to see that it is happening. Looks like they're actually doing a much more creative job than I've seen with other parks. They have flowers laid in and everything. This is really, really cool looking. Can't wait to see it complete during Summer Vibes Festival. Looks like we have some stuff hanging from the top here. Everything is decked out in vines. Really, really cool looking. Some flowers. Looks great. Another example of some great landscaping on part of Great Adventure with all these flowers and elephant ears here, right behind the teacups, a classic attraction here at the park. Another example of some great landscaping over in front of Twister. That ride is one of the rarest rides of its type. You don't see that type of ride anymore. So it's really cool to see that Great Adventure has it still running consistently too. It's open all the time. So definitely give Twister a ride before it might have to go due to maintenance issues because there's literally none of these rides left in the world. Very unique experience. Just did four rides on Zoom and Jaro. We got one perfect duel with Ka, and we were on the right side for it too, which was great. Tom, those were your first rides of the season on Zoo. How was it? It was great. It was everything that I remembered from last year. It's been close to a year since I've ridden, I think, whenever it went down last year, but just as great as it's always been. Definitely don't miss out on this ride if you're coming to Great Adventure. No, it's an absolute must-do attraction. There's not much like it in the world. This is probably my favorite drop tower, if not one of my favorites. Really, really great ride. After our rides on Zoom and Jar, we're meeting up with some more people. We are now going to take on El Toro. And look at these plants, man. This, this is what I mean. Plaza del Carnival is probably the most beautiful area of the park, especially in the summer with all these plants. It looks spectacular.
So while the phone was in the locker, we rode El Toro seven times, we rode Zumanjaro three times, and we rode King Ka once. In fact, here comes Toro now. Toro's running absolutely spectacular. Ace, how was El Toro, Zumanjaro, and King Ka? El Toro was great. Riding better than ever for the last 10 years. Got on the seven times, and King Ka was great too. It seemed like it was supersonic speed today. That's how fast it was. And Zuma Jaw was great after like nine to 10 months. Got on that three times. Otherwise, how's your day been so far, Ace? Great, a little hot, but great. Tom? All of it's been excellent. Toro is Toro. We're out of the seat on our one car ride. And Zuma Jaw, we just had to go back. Great day, got here a little late myself. El Toro's running absolutely fantastic. Nice hot day. Maybe a little too hot for some people, but not too hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan? Toro is running phenomenal. It's running good. Kyle was good. We got a duel on Doom and Jar order. That was good. Yeah. Overall, a good day. Yeah. Now we're going to head over to Log Flume. Looks like someone, unfortunately, I just missed it. Toro was just stopped on the lift hill because someone decided to break the rules. When you come to Great Adventure, you go to any theme park, don't break the rules. They're there to protect you, to keep you safe. Don't take your phone on rides you're not supposed to take your phone on. Don't take your phone out on any ride because you're not supposed to. Just enjoy it. Don't break the rules and be an idiot and ruin it for everyone. Yeah. Before we ride Log Flume, we're going to do a quick ride on Mine Train. Ace, you ready for Mine Train? We all just got off of Log Flume. I got drenched. You got drenched. You got drenched. You didn't get drenched. Dude, you got really drenched. Yeah. Ace got wet. Ace never gets wet. Oh. <laughs> Ace, how was the log flu? It was great. <laughs> Even more great landscaping with all these flowers underneath the brake run of runaway terrain. Looks great. What happened? No, yeah, you can change the license. So, yeah. Like this. Uh -huh. See, I got the old license, see? See the old license? Look at me there. Can I see the name? Yeah. What's your new license yet? Like Tommy? No. Well, you got one like mine. Right. You don't got a middle name for it? on Jersey Devil and as I've been stressing in multiple videos now it's running way different way faster than it ever has I don't know what they did but it is so good Tom that was your first time riding Devil in its I guess you could say new form a month, month, month and, a half. and it's sort of yeah. flying out of you nowhere which air in and out of every element or most of the elements in the back row don't sleep on this ride it well ride it now if you don't have a great opinion of it like I used to have it will change your mind the way it's running definitely where'd they go dad how is Jersey Devil well Jersey Devil is to a totally different ride one year later than when we first rode it last year it is so much faster it actually feels like a different ride if you rode it last year you really need to get out here and re-ride it and judge for yourself Ace, what do you think of Devil? Jersey Devil was great. Faster than last year. I should also mention that Devil is now on four trains. One, two, three, four. So now it's running at full capacity. Line is moving super fast. It's great.
Those rides on Devil will probably wind up being our final rides of the day. We're gonna go grab something to eat and head out and get a snack. So we'll see you guys over by the fountain. Some more great landscaping over here by the Wonder Woman statue. Looks like ever since earlier, the vine pathway has been open. So I guess they finished whatever work they were doing on it for today. So now we get an even better look. This is really cool. I love the touch of all the flowers in the wall here. And of course the overhang with all these different kinds of plants hanging down. Really, really cool. I'm very happy to see that they did this truly because it's it really does add to the atmosphere. I, honestly, I hope they keep this for the remainder of the year, next year, etc. Because this really does add to this path. It looks so, so good. Over here from the exit of Joker, you can see that even more has been added to the beach ball. It looks really cool. Over here behind the Ale House Bar, they have some new seating. The seating we saw on our last visit has actually been moved inside and there's even more back here. We decided to get some pretzels over here from Main Street Pub. Honestly, these are probably the best pretzels in the park. I never would have even thought to go in here for a pretzel, but they're good. You're welcome. Very good. It was my idea, so thank you. Yeah. Ace, inside Main Street Market, there's a lot of really cool Great Adventure branded apparel that's new. I really like this shirt. It's also all these shirts over here. This style looks a little more retro. Looks great. They also have this tie dye. That's gonna do it for our day here at Great Adventure. It was awesome to be here for the Medusa film shoot. Huge thank you to Great Adventure for allowing us to do that and for providing us food, beverages, whatnot. It was great. And um, we wound up making a great day out of it too. Got on Toro a few times, Zumanjaro, Jersey Devil, among other rides. It was great hanging out with some great people, but that's gonna do it for today's vlog. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, guys.